When I ask teachers what kind of online resources they're using in their classrooms, they often start by talking about content databases. YouTube, the Khan Academy, NBC Learn, Discovery Education, these are all popular with teachers and with good cause. Students find multimedia engaging, and it lets us show students concepts rather than just telling them. It lets us open our classroom to a world beyond its walls. However, incorporating multimedia is kind of the low-hanging fruit of blended learning. Qualitatively, it's no different than showing our students a video on a DVD or a VHS. Effective instruction in a blended learning environment requires thoughtful use of multimedia. Ultimately, when we show a video to our students, they're just a passive consumer of that information, and good instruction is about making students active learners. So instead of picking videos to show to our students, why not have them explore databases to find relevant content as part of an inquiry-based learning environment? We'll discuss that as part of week two of this course. We also need to prepare students to be citizens of the digital world they're going to live in. So, rather than just downloading videos, they should be practicing active use of the internet and be uploading videos and other materials to these content databases. We'll discuss this in week four of the course when we talk about digital citizenship. So consider, how are you using content from these content databases? Are your students just passive consumers, or are they actively exploring? Are they just downloading, or are they uploading?